the conservatives are going to win maybe with a super majority the problem with that is they're full-blown zionists so they're all in with world war three right so we're going into world war three in canada right they might get a super majority so we're hard even in the harder core right liberals are garbage ndp's garbage block is garbage green is garbage maxime bernier for federal elections for me he went to jail for me i will he has my loyalty for life and the fucking story right in the u.s trump should win trump is a full-blown zionist he's got zionist backing him he's got zionist money he's in for all in for world war three for israel and world war three is going to be israel ukraine is going to cut back on right kamala wins u.s economy completely goes titty up boop, boop, boop. Uh, you're going to see a decline in the stock market for anywhere between, as Martin Armstrong says, a year to two years. And then it's going to pop because we're going to hyperinflation. In BC, in BC, in my province and in Mike's province, okay, a new party, not a new party, but a party has that has never even gotten a fucking seat in uh, the parliament here in the province, right, that at most had 5% of the electorate vote is now polling at 30 something percent and is challenging the NDP and the Western in BC Canada West of Canada they're full-blown woke red rats like so many of them I used to be one I used to be but I wasn't like these idiots right like I consider myself left but I didn't realize the left here that consider themselves left are fucking some of the dumbest motherfuckers on the fucking planet that are full-blown fascists i was like damn i ain't one of you but what, what the what i what i like i'm in for protecting the environment these people are, are in for killing humanity to for carbon tax like it's just they want to give more power to a centralized state that has devastated the economy that has devastated the environment, that is rolling out tyranny. They're idiots, they're NPCs, right? So in BC, the conservatives has never been able to get a foothold, never. In this election, they're polling now, some polls above the NDP. That means the, the, the left government that had full control here in the West, Western, Western Canada and BC, has so destroyed people's lives has so fucked things up that the conservatives that have never had a foothold here are now polling above them so i got my fingers crossed that the conservatives will win the bc elections we'll see what happens because the leader of the conservative party in british columbia canada in an inter in a, in, a, in a video came out and said where he was being filmed just talking with someone on a table came came out and said i got three injections and i regret getting them and this is him saying this right he's saying he got three injections and he regrets getting them and he talked to the health minister that was health whatever bureaucrat that was put in charge of the rollout of these injections and the tyranny, the tyranny that was rolled out here firing nurses up the unit collapsing the economy collapsing health care unapologetic use children as props to get more people injected with a poison he came out and said she he talked to her because he's a leader of conservative he's a member part he's like politician talked to her and realized after talking to her that this wasn't about health care this wasn't about um preventing a virus from spreading if you believed in this, stuff like this this wasn't about uh, protecting Canadians protecting the population this was about control this was about tyranny right now this video came out and the NDP the fucking people that rolled out this tyranny shared this video thinking that Canadians are gonna go oh this guy's an anti-vaxxer because they tweeted out this video saying John Horton, the conservative leader, he's an anti-vaxxer because he reg he questions this as a so fucking clueless, so fucking clueless. For me, I saw that I'm like fucking a man. 
somebody fucking speaking the truth that's in government saying they regret fucking getting these injections and this wasn't about healthcare this was about fucking full-on tyranny and the people that rolled out this tyranny are using this video trying to tag him as an anti-vaxxer that's how low fucking iq the left in canada is especially on the west coast unfortunately about 20 percent of the population here will never recoup from their that that's their identity they will they cannot cannot fucking break that right that's 20 percent if we're lucky those 20 percent are up to date with their boosters you know i know some of them uh you know i hope they wake up but if they don't wake up I hope they're fucking up to date with their boosters and they take every fucking shot that the government fucking recommends. And I hope they do it fucking multiple times. And I hope they fucking continue to do it until that 20% turns into fucking 2% because it will. Right? Fuck them. Fuck tyrants. Fuck bullies. Right? So that's my take on the Canadian elections uh, and the US elections and stuff. For me, I despise cowards, I despise tyrants, I despise bullies, right? And uh, obviously, genocide. And you have no choice but to fucking fight against it. Because once they're done with the weak, they'll come after you. Might as well fucking get the weak to become stronger and stronger, right? It's not about you escaping, it's about bringing as many people with you as you can. Because we need, we need fucking... A movement an army to resist this tyranny because these motherfuckers have placed themselves in all levels of government and society that they think with bureaucracy they'll be able to genocide us i like to prove that they won't be able to